It happened suddenly, in the middle of the night, devastation by the hand of nature. En cinco minutos se llenó la casa de agua y nosotros salimos nadando. That water was in seconds. In the first day, that was that was water from my neck. Got my two kids in my hand holding up. My wife sitting on a two by four on the side of the water and pulling out a baby. In the early hours of June 2, 2008, raging flash floods swept through a number of rural and coastal communities along the length of Belize, leaving behind despair and loss. The floods were the result of torrential rains associated with the remnants of Tropical Storm Arthur and the destruction of properties and other damages and even loss of life that resulted are a timely warning of our vulnerability to the increasing threat of storms and floods, which are projected to increase with continued changing climate conditions. The extent of devastation from a natural disaster, such as Tropical Storm Arthur, was previously only in the distant memories of elders, and related primarily to high category hurricanes. For the majority of those affected, the experience was terrifyingly unfamiliar. I'm living here from, as I mentioned earlier, from around 1958 when I started to work with the government and you know, then I've never seen a flood as high as this. And what was most strikingly clear in the aftermath of the flash floods is that we were sadly unprepared. Now, torrential rainfalls will never again be taken for granted, especially by those living in low-lying areas. And while efforts are focused on recovery, it is also crucial to recognize that Belizeans need to be more prepared to cope with such threats. Prepared not for the unlikely or probable, but for the imminent future incidents of floods and increased storm activity. It is no longer a question of if, but rather a matter of when such incidents will occur. These are some of the phenomena that we will be seeing in the future. Maybe right now we are seeing this as something unprecedented. But with a warming climate, this will become even more frequent. The very suddenness and magnitude of our recent experience with the extreme weather conditions underscores the need for awareness of global warming and the climate changes we will continue to experience as a result. But global warming and climate change are terms usually associated with environmental and ecological impacts. But with shortages of food occurring globally and the ongoing scramble to find alternative means of energy, the economic and social ramifications of climate change are given greater focus. From our livelihoods to our health, climate change and its effects on our environment factors greatly in the most basic survival aspects of our lives. Perhaps the hardest felt social impact of climate change is that which results in loss of life by natural disasters. While deaths from the flood in June were minimal, Belize must now prepare to meet the changing weather patterns so that we minimize not only the impact on our resources, but on human life as well. While Belize is not a major contributor of greenhouse emissions, we need to become sensitive to the ways in which our actions form part of a greater global picture, and also how we may be creating situations that actually increase the severity of the impact of climate change. I think it's, it's waking people up and they realize, well, this might actually have something to do not just with climate change, but also our own behavior in terms of when you start clearing land from the mountains or if you remove the buffers that, that they essentially prevent the water from having this kind of heavy impact. Environmentally, sound steps must be taken to plan and prepare for storm and flooding events. Both human communities and natural ecosystems are vulnerable to climate change and other natural threat factors. Likewise, they both possess potential for resilience, building an adaptation to these changes in the environment. In Belize, settlements along low-lying coastal areas and within vulnerable watersheds are commonality. We need to move away from this mode of social existence and try to conserve and protect our natural buffers such as coral reefs and mangroves which can serve to reduce impacts from storm surges and floods. We cannot escape the effects of global warming and climate change. Rather, we must plan and prepare.